Hey Taurus, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-December 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, or if you want, you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. All right, Taurus, let's see. What is the overall energy? For the second half of December for you, we have metamorphosis. All right, okay, so somebody's going through a metamorphosis here. Um, some kind of a shift, some kind of a change. Um, possibly having learned some lesson which is driving them forward in a new direction. So we're gonna get into the tarot and see. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of December, what is happening here? All right, for the situation, we have the King of Cups crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Let's see, for your energy, this is the past. We have the Three of Swords, present, the Death card, and in your near future, the Ten of Pentacles. For them, we have the Four of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Swords. Ooh, okay, and the potential outcome here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. What is happening here? Definitely feels like there's some kind of an ending. Um, I feel like actually both of you are undergoing some kind of pain here. Pretty intense, I must say. Um, things do look like they're getting better though. Definitely seeing a new potential here with the Ace of Pentacles in the potential outcome. And it definitely can be with this person, doesn't have to be, it could be something else. It could be that new path opening up. Um, there's definitely a connection here where there is a lot of love, a lot of emotions, but it feels like somebody is just not giving as much as the other person, all right, with the Six of Pentacles being um, in the challenge position, or somebody really maybe not knowing how to give this love or how to show these emotions or this love. Um, You've, you've been hurt. I feel like you've been through a lot of pain. But it's like you're, I feel like you're coming out of that gradually. You're coming out of the heartbreak. You're coming out of the pain, all right? Because with this death card being here in your current energy, I'm almost seeing it as also being an ending to, to that pain. But of course, it still feels like there is an ending. Like you're, you're also processing some kind of an ending. Of course, you could be dealing with the Scorpio for some of you. Others of you might be dealing with a Capricorn, but of course it could be just about any sign. All right, so coming up for you though, definitely um, some kind of a commitment or somebody wants commitment here. Um, a lot of stability for them. This is interesting. I feel like this person was actually, I feel like it's the other person here who was um, not giving, right? Possibly having taken you for granted, just not really um, paying much attention, not giving their energy, ignoring you maybe, that kind of a feel to it. And it feels like at the moment, because there is this ending, this person um, might be acting up. Um, I feel like now they're, they're realizing this. They're realizing this, but I feel like they're still in the middle of some kind of a crisis here with this devil's energy. Um, possibly just displaying some unhealthy attitudes or behaviors. And I feel like it's like a defense mechanism, but we'll see when we clarify. Um, because coming up for them, here's them processing the ending. It's like they're a step behind you. So yeah, let's let's clarify and see. So let's clarify that King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. All right, and we have the Magician, the Tower, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was definitely um, 
juggling more than one energy here, okay? It does not have to be another person. It, it could just be that somebody was just not really knowing how to handle the situation, so they weren't giving much. And I feel like this whole situation, really what happened here is that it manifested a tower. Like things just kind of blew up. I feel like the two of you felt like, or this could even be in the current energy, feeling like things are just really shaky, almost like, um, like your connection is just hanging on by like a thin thread. And then because, um, from what I'm seeing here, the other person was not giving much to this or just not giving emotionally, um, it built up to this tower. The tower was manifested. Like that, that thread was cut basically. And everything just came crashing down. And I feel like, I feel like you're still in that. I feel like this is actually happening for most of you at, at this point in time. For others of you, it's definitely um, more of a past energy. But I feel like you were you were having this pain, you were feeling the pain and the hurt from before that tower fell, before this fully manifested, before that thread was cut. And I just had the Four of Cups flip over again. <laughs> Well, oh my god, and it just popped out as well. Okay, that's crazy. Um, okay, together with the lovers. All right, so Gemini energy also showing up here. Yeah, so you were feeling this pain, all right, from before this even happened because of this other person being in that Four of Cups energy. Because they were ignoring you or just not giving to you or just taking you for granted in whatever, whatever type of a way. So this was creating a lot of pain for you. They were just taking this whole, the, the connection, right, for granted with the lovers. Or they were taking your love for granted. So before moving on to the current energies, let's see that Four of Cups for them in the recent past. All right, we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So this is interesting because I do see that the that love was here, all right? This person did and does have emotions for you. It's all there. But I feel like there was a problem in communicating, all right, or in how they were expressing this. It's like they just were not because they took it for granted. It was there. The feelings were there. Like, the love was there. Everything is nice. But, but it was taken for granted, basically. All right, let's see what is happening now. Let's clarify that death card in your current energy. And we have death showing up again, the hermit, and the king of swords. Wow, you're determined. You're, you're the one who's going through this metamorphosis, at the moment at least. I don't know if this person is going to go through a metamorphosis um, coming up. I'm definitely not fully or really seeing that with them having the devil in their current energy, but you are definitely going through a metamorphosis. A huge, huge shift here because you're wanting this to be done. You're very determined to fully listen to your own self. And I feel like you're withdrawing from this connection a lot. I feel like most of this pain has been left behind. There might still be some pain that you are processing or having to deal with. And I do feel like you are just kind of keeping to yourself, maybe even isolating, just not being very social here because it's like you are so set on doing things differently for your own self. You don't want this type of a dynamic. I'm not saying you have fully let go of this person. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Um, but you definitely don't want to be in the situation that you were in. And I feel like nothing's going to stop you. Like you're just not going to go back to something um, that was not making you feel good. So let's see for them. Let's see the devil. Seriously. 
and they have the devil clarifying the devil just like you had death clarifying death i mean this is like so so clear right this person at the moment is um because okay because they also have the ace of cups and the page of wands um, now all of a sudden, I feel like this person wants to give you this cup, right? They want to give you this love. They want to share with you their emotions or, you know, whatever, whatever it was that was missing here, whatever it is that, that they were not giving you enough of. Now they want to give that, but I feel like they're manifesting it in, in a way where it still feels, something still feels off. Like it's still attached to some kind of a fear or it's still attached to some kind of a pattern, a negative pattern that they've had or a cycle. Um, it could even be an addiction for some of them and maybe that was getting in the way here and that was, you know, affecting the situation or affecting the way that they were treating you. I feel like that is still here because this devil's energy is showing up strong in their current energy. Um, they, I mean, the willingness is definitely there, like they want to, even with that page of wands, right? That's the drive that they have. They, their intentions might be good, but, but they're still holding on to something here that's, um, not really allowing them to, to break whatever pattern that was. At the moment, at least. Um, it's interesting that for the near future, you both have a 10, right? You have the 10 of Pentacles, they have the 10 of Swords. So this does talk about a completion. And for you, it's looking like a very positive completion. Um, whereas in contrast, for them, it's looking like a very painful completion. So let's, let's see, let's clarify that 10 of Pentacles for you. All right, we have the two of swords and we have the sun all right so the sun is like the um the most positive card all right in, in tarot the two of swords yeah there is some doubt here i feel like you're moving towards commitment stability possibly something new coming in for you whatever this is just know that it is very very positive all right um, you're definitely moving towards happiness. You're moving towards truth. I feel like um, the two of swords is showing up here to let you know that you don't need to have doubts, you know, that you might not be able to see it just yet. All right, so you can even see in this um, image here, this woman, like her hood is so long that it's covering her eyes. She cannot see. She cannot see that rainbow behind her. But that is what is coming up for you. All right, that sun. Let's see that Ten of Swords for this other person here. Wouldn't want to be in their place, that's for sure. But sometimes this is what is needed for people to wake up and have their own metamorphosis. Yeah, okay, there we go. We have Justice, sorry, not Justice, Judgment, and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. I wonder if I'm almost getting for some of them, not all of them, okay, just a specific group of you. This has to do with self-discipline. Whatever this person is going through, a lot of it is self-discipline. Having to learn how to control their own self or to um, hold back from certain urges. That just came through. Um, but yeah, overall, this person is having a major awakening. A major awakening for whatever it is that they were holding on to, whatever that devil's energy is that they were stubbornly holding on to, not allowing that to change. They're having a major, major awakening and resurrection um, concerning that, but that's only coming with this really painful ending. All right, so let's see that Ace of Pentacles. the potential outcome oh and we have the king of cups and the six of cups yeah there's a new path that's opening up here for you all right because you you're already um going through this transformation you're already in your metamorphosis right so your path i feel is opened up it's or it's opening up okay it's like coming in very very quickly and this is love right here this is love for some of you it might even be reuniting with a past um soulmate 
or somebody from your past. Um, I just don't feel like it's this person, but for some of you it could be, okay, but just at some point later on after this person has had this awakening. But definitely it, it's feeling like something new, okay, for the most part. So Taurus, if this resonated, let's just get a final oracle card for you, just any message for you may or may not be related to this particular reading um, or to this situation. Could be anything you need to hear. And we have honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. So yeah, take that as it resonates. Be honest. Speak from the heart. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.